final and last topic that I would like to cover today. It's just going to be a short little touch on the ancestor of modern brewing yeast has been found hiding in Ireland. Found in Patagonia and elsewhere, Saccharomyces eubarianus has now been identified in Europe. In 1516, a duchy of Bavaria in Germany imposed a law on its beer brewers met to reserve ingredients like wheat and rye for baking of bread. The decree restricted brewers to using only barley, hops, water, and yeast to make their libations and set the prices for beer depending on the time of year. The law inadvertently limited brewing to the winter, which favored cold tolerant yeast called Saccharomyces pastorianus, which brews lager over the more common S. cerevisia, uh, which brews ale. S. pastorianus is a hybrid produced from mating of S. Cerviasis, or cerviasia with another yeast called S. eubanius. Despite lager's European origins, S. eubanius hadn't actually been found there and was only first discovered in 2011 in the Patagonian region of South America. Now, thanks to a research project carried out by undergraduate student uh, or students, S. eubanius has been found living in European soil, fittingly in the beer-loving nation of Ireland. Since the discovery of S. Eubanus, Eubanus, yeah, Eubanus, make sure I'm saying that right. I, I did practice these words <laughs> more than 10 years ago. It has been uh, a fun puzzle putting it together with the species is actually found, or where the species is actually found, said Quinn Lingdon, a biologist at Stanford University, who was not involved in the study. A leading theory is that S. eubanus originated in Patagonia and then spread around the world, eventually mating with S. cerevisia uh, in European breweries to make S. pastorianus, which is a domestic breeding or domestic uh, uh, breed of, of yeast. Um, Geraldine Butler, a geneticist at the University College Dublin and leader of the project, always thought that teaching genome sequencing techniques by having students uh, scour soil for yeast could turn up S. eubanus. Still, she says, she couldn't contain her excitement when she saw the first hint of the microbe. I was sitting by the sequencer waiting for the results to come out, she says. One of Butler's students, Stephen Allen, found two local, or local strains of S. eubanus hiding in plain sight on the Belfield campus of the University of College Dublin. The team has since gone back and found the yeast again. Butler says suggesting that there is a stable population of the yeast living in the Irish soil. The new discovery was published December 7th. I only bring you the most recent and up-to-date science here in Live from the Hive, don't you know? December 7th on this one, December 9th on the, the, the previous one. Uh, this is new stuff coming out, cutting edge right now on the floor for you. Um, yes, I stay on top of my game. <laughs> uh, Butler hopes this discovery will uh, brew, I like what you did there, interest elsewhere in Europe for this, to search for S. eubanus, including in Bavaria, where lager brewing is thought to have first started. She is also looking for commercial partners to try making beer with the Irish strain. Uh, Langdon isn't confident that the new microbe will lead to tasty brew because there are other S. eubanus strains that don't grow well in on maltose, the sugar that 
needs to be digested by yeast uh, during the brewing process. Still, Langdon says it'd be fun. It, it'd be fun to brew with them. Yeah, I agree. It'd be be pretty cool to see them. Let's see what comes out on them. Whether the newly discovered Irish strain of S. pastorianus as a strain as pastorianus is a missing parent tastes good or not, there's no denying that their discovery helps solve a little piece of the puzzle of lager brewing's origins. That 16th century shift from uh, C. cervasia to S. Or sorry, S. Cerevisia to S. pastorianus led to a global shift that continues to this day. More than 90% of beer sold in the world today is lager. Fungi are the forgotten kingdom, Langdon said, not getting as much attention as plants or animals. Despite playing an outside role in human history, yeast are just single celled live or single cells living in the soil and they're doing really important things absolutely so that was that was some hive science up in here i hope you guys enjoyed that <laughs>